Alright YouTube, here we are with another battle, a triples battle, and uh, this is the famous motherfucking preview screen. Now as you can get, well, anyone that knows, as you can tell, I have a sandstorm team. Um, the fortress, I just fucking, I don't know why I brought this fucking thing now that I think about it, because look at all the flint, well, I didn't know what he was bringing, so it's kind of random. He only has two things that can be affected by spikes or toxic spikes, and this thing does not carry a stealth rock. So I'm kicking myself in the ass for that. But... Uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna see a strategy that, uh, I inadvertently came prepared for, and ended up working out in my favor, his strategy, so, let's get the fuck into the battle. So, th thank you guys for watching, um, I really appreciate it, I have 17 subscribers now, I believe, which I'm, like, absolutely fucking stoked for, I, I love you guys, all of you, so, anyway, I lead with Reuniclus, Fortress, and Tyranitar. Um, the only reason I brought, well, I mean, threw out Reuniclus, or not Reuniclus, my, uh, Fortress, was so that I could wall any physical hits. I sent out Reuniclus, because I can burn anything physical, and I sent out Tyranitar to get my sand up, because none of my team is affected by sand except for my Latios and my Rotom. Now that that's all out of the way, he uses Tailwind, I'm like, holy fuck. If that team was not fast enough, the next turn they're gonna fucking blister me. So he goes for a Sacred Sword as I predicted, which is why I switched my Tyranitar out and Latios takes it like a fucking champ. Um, he uses Beat Up, and I'm like, what? He just upped his attack. And then he hits him again, and I'm like, what? And then he hits him again, and I'm like, oh my fucking Jesus, I am about to get swept. And I'm like, dude, seriously, this is just overkill now. This is a plus, what? Five now? You'll know when it says hit six times. Um, this lucky, well, I guess it's not lucky because beat up depends on the Pokemon on the field, but this piece of shit tailwinded and then used beat up. And I'm like, wow, that's a plus six track. And I'm like, well, I tricked and gave you the flame orb, so that move was redundant. And yeah, that's a burned Terrakion at the end of the turn, so that motherfucker is useless. So I was like, I'll just go for Toxic Spikes. I should have just went for Gyro Ball, honestly, which you're about to see this next turn why I should have. So yeah, everyone's uh, getting hurt by Sandstorm. Except for the Trachyon, Renuclus, and the Fortress. And I'm like, okay. So he crunches, I'm like, bitch, I'm bold as fuck. And yeah, Renuclus takes like a motherfucking champ. And he uses Rock Slide, and Latios is like, Bitch, I'm fast as fuck, ain't no rocks gonna hit me. Uh, and Fortress walls the fuck out of that. And I just lull the shit out of that hit. And he beats my Latios up. And he gets a fucking crit, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, come on. I was like, you're a fucking dick. But I'm not really that mad, honestly. I don't give a shit. I just put out Latios so it could take a hit for my Tyranitar, and they go for the Psychic, and I'm like, ha ha ha. I trolled you in the name Psychic and he fucking lives. I'm like, shit. So I go for Gyro Ball and Fortress is slow as shit. So, bam, that is a fucking close to dead ass motherfucking Tornadus. And look at that damage. Look at that. I haven't even hit Houndoom with an actual attack. He's like, damn, dude, you're hurting me. Fortress is like, I don't have a mouth, but I'm going to eat these leftovers and get my health back. That never made sense to me. What are those fucking wiggly things that Fortress has? What the fuck ever, I'm rambling. Anyways, Trachyon dies to burn. I'm like, ha, ah, your strategy didn't work. And he sends out a Hydragon. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, something is going to die this turn because Tailwind makes him real fast. So I send in my Trachyon. And yeah, he is the power. That's his name, but it's not showing up. That crunch was so strong, it blurred my cat, and he got another fucking crit. Oh my god, with these crits, are you joking? So, yeah, he finally throws my fortress, and I'm like, let me guess, you're gonna get a fucking crit right now. But he doesn't. Now, here's where I was confused. I was like, well, how do you use crunch? He is flamethrower. Who's gonna use. What? That's right. He's adding to my attack right now. And I guarantee. In Japanese, this guy was screaming, shit, 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 stop hitting that thing. But I don't know how to say shit, 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 stop hitting that thing in Japanese. So that's what you guys get. Anyway, his fucking Tornadus knows Crunch. He knows Crunch. Hello. Hello. 
Why? Why? Crunch. So I'm at plus five now, and I'm like, oh, dude, anything I hit is going down. I don't give a fuck what it is. Dude, okay, to show you, dude, Choice Bandit Terrakion could have took out that Tornadus, which resists close combat, in one shot at plus five. So your little beat up trick ended up slapping you in the face. All right, so now I'm getting extra dramatic for this one. And his tornadoes is gonna die to whatever the fuck I want next turn, cause uh, yeah, I planned this shit out. So here comes his Dragonite, and we know who's coming back in to handle that business. You know it, that T-Tar, that vicious motherfucker with that Ice Beam shit. Now, I'm not gonna say this is multi-scale Dragonite, but it more than likely is, because people, he, <laughs> he uses Crunch! And there's why we don't use Crunch, kids, because, uh, Rotom, well, well, Scarfed Rotom, will fucking thrash your shit. Not that he had that much HP anyway, and not like it really mattered, but Scarfed Rotom will fucking thrash you. Thrash you. Anyways, he goes for a flamethrower, I'm like, you know, with the hacks that's been going on, I'm gonna get burned. And I do. So I'm like, wow. Well, good thing I don't fucking run physical on this one. So he goes for Blizzard, and Tyranitar's like, nah, dude, you ain't gonna hit me with that shit. He's like, that, that's just not going to work. And I think he was hoping for freeze, but that's just not how the world works. That that much hacks? No. No. You already got your fresh air hacks. Now it's my turn to beat you with that motherfucking skill. Well, and I beat you because you made a fucking fatal mistake. Anyway, we know that Tyranitar says, man, get them dragons out of here. Get out of here. Shoot you ice beam out of my chest. And he... Fucking lives! Not. He's gonna die by Sandstorm, so that was fucking just absolute lols. Bye bye, Dragonite. He's like, but I'm from Gen 1. And Tyranosaur's like, bitch, I'm from Gen 2, the best motherfucking gen of all time. And his tailwind went out, so I was like, yes, I will outspeed with my Rotom. And yeah, he sends out his uh, Star After Wish. He's like, wow, okay, well, I'm still at plus four. So a close combat will still fuck your day up. And Tyranitar's like, I don't give a fuck, I'm already burned. Any more attack lowering is just hacks. Okay, it's not hacks, but whatever. Anyway, I go for the Volt Switch, and... Yeah, he's like, dude, I'm gonna come back after I hit him with that Volt. And I was like, damn! That thing died! I was gonna use close combat, Ice Beam, and Volt Switch. That, oh my god, that would've been like, the most ridiculous overkill of all fucking time. So, uh... Now we know, like, why would you bring something with beat up and try and attack something that you already tried to attack that you knew might kill? Like, my Reuniclus was at such low HP, the only thing that was going to happen was his Tornadus was going to be faster than his Houndoom, crunch my Reuniclus, kill it, and beat up was going to have to hit the thing off to the... technically his right, my left, which would be my Terrakion, and he up my attack plus 5. I was like, wow. But I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that uh, that beat-up strategy, I was like, holy shit, I'm going to get fucked. But, um, yeah, I mean, I did not get fucked. So, fuck you. No, don't fuck you. Sorry, guy. I, I just got excited. You gave me plus five, and I never even had to use Swords Dance or any other weird shit like that. So, that is obviously for like a minute past the end of the battle. Fortress, like I said, was just random as fuck. I honestly, that thing could have died in the first turn of the battle, and I really wouldn't have cared because my Scarf Rotom would have handled, uh, would have handled the Tornadus and the Star After anyway. He would have just had a little less HP. Um, yeah, this just shows how useful Trick Flame Orb Reuniclus is. Like, oh my god, if I wouldn't have burned that thing, that could have been absolutely terrible. So, like it, hit it, subscribe, and rate it. Let me know what you guys think of the battle. Uh, it's kind of my wiliest uh, narration yet. I got a little got a little loose today. Uh, I just, I like this battle. Not that it was, like, extra good or anything, but I had a lot of fun in triples. And I've been having a lot of fun in triples, so expect to see more of this coming your way, guys. Thanks for watching.